What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. Uh, recently I did a series where I played as the Maya and I had a pretty terrible game and I still managed to come out on top. So, um, and that was on, on Immortal. Um, I've played several games on Immortal right now. Um, I think most of my games were on Emperor. Eventually I did make my way to Immortal and I feel like I can beat that pretty comfortably now, even if I m just mess up every now and again. Uh, or even if I have a terrible game, like with the Maya, I can still win. Um, so if I do actually do a good job, I should be able to be Deity. And I think it's time we try this again. Um, I believe I've tried one series on Deity, and I'm not entirely sure how it ended, but I do remember that I didn't win. And I think that it's time actually start doing this. So I just I actually chose the Inca for this series because I enjoy playing them. I don't really play them that much, but I do think they're really cool. Um, they have terrace farms, which I think are really, really cool looking as well. Uh, and they have slingers, which I don't even know that much about, but I, let's see, good chance to withdraw to the rear before an enemy melee attack can occur. So that should be pretty good. I, I tend to lose a lot of units due to carelessness, so hopefully uh, the Slingers will be helpful for me. Uh, we're going to be playing on the South America map type. Because that seems like fun. And it fits the Inca, obviously. Um, so ho I'm just hoping there's going to be lots of mountains, lots of hills. Because that is basically uh, where the, the Inca thrive. And with that said, let's start the game. Let's do it. The only thing that's on is random personalities. Um, I find that it makes games more interesting. The other AI are less predictable, and that's fun. I mean, I'm not sure if it makes games tougher or what, but... It just seems like it, it does make it more interesting, All right? Begin journey. And my god. Are you serious? This is extremely... Promising. <laughs> Alright, so what I was hoping for was a lot of hills. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of hills. I see one hill there. I see mountains, though. That could be very good. Uh, most importantly, though, I see three luxuries. Silk, two cocoa, and two bananas. This is a very good start, I'm thinking. Uh, jungle as well. Lots of jungle. Let's settle our city right here on the river. Uh, this is just a good spot. I am not passing up on this. Alright, so that's Cusco. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I legit think that in terms of food, this might be one of the best starts I've ever even seen. Personally, I mean. Sometimes you see people and they post screenshots that are absolutely insane, but this, this is really good. Uh, I'm gonna grab pottery, obviously. Uh, usually start out with that, and Granary is going to be really good, considering it also uh, gives a bonus to the bananas here. My god. This, we're off to a pretty good start. Now let's see. Oh, even more bananas. No way. Hello. I might want to grab that. But I am extremely afraid that it's going to give me a unit upgrade, turning this warrior into a spearman, which is something I don't want, but let's see. Yep, I, that always happens to me. I swear, always. I don't like spearmen, yet the game keeps giving me them. I don't know why. Alright, so that this is still pretty good, though. We have a city say here. Uh, I can't wait to see how many more hills we have. Uh, Alright, more runs. How many more hills are in this area and more mountains? Because I'm pretty sure, and let me just look this up real quick. I want to know exactly what these terrace farms do, so... Terrace farming developed in mountainous area. That doesn't even matter. It's just like background information. Basically, they give you one extra food, but any nearby mountains give you more. So, say... Oh my god, making a terrace farm here is going to be insane. Because that's going to not only give it one extra food, but another four because of those mountains. Unless it doesn't stack and it just gives you the one. I'm excited to find out though. I am very excited. Alright, so we got animal husbandry for free. Uh, which is pretty nice. 
And we want to get to construction so we can make these terrace farms. I mean, obviously it'll take a while before we can get there and before we can even make these farms. Brussels, how are you, buddy? Um, but we know that this, this is going to be an amazing spot for a farm. This is going to be so interesting. I haven't played as the Inca in, in forever. This is going to be fun. All right, so they made a scout. Let's scout. I mean, that's what you're for. Okay. That's not bad. We got some marble. Some more um, mountains here. So this would be another great spot for a terrace farm. Obviously, this city will not be able to work it. But if we get another city somewhere around here, that could be a possibility. Something to consider. Now, I'm not really sure... I mean, obviously, I'm going to start with tradition. I mean, that's what I always do. That's what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, usually, I end up making a monument as my second thing. Because then I get the amphitheater for free later on in the game. But it might be a better idea to just make a worker straight away. Then again... We have so much food that we don't have to worry about making farms for at least a little while, but having a worker is always good. Yeah, that monument's still pretty far off. Let's just, um, or legalism, I mean. So let's just grab a monument uh, and do that. So maybe if we didn't have this much food, I actually would have grabbed the worker straight away instead of the monument, but because we've got all this food... You know, let's get the monument. Let's do that. More bananas there. I am just blown away. I am blown away by this map. All right, pottery's done. All right, let's run, guys. Look at all this. Uh, let's see. So, granary's going to take, yeah, 15 turns. So, maybe we would be better off just making either the shrine or the granary first. Now, they're suggesting a granary, but we've got all these gray tiles. I mean, we already have four excess food. Let's grab a shrine. Let's do that. I would like to get my own religion. All right, more cocoa. I mean, whoa. What is going on over here? All right, so our happiness is at four. We have three cocoa here, so that's four luxuries right next to my city with marble not that much further away. So, should we get a plantation first? Should we get sailing? Sadly, we don't have any fish near Cusco. That would have made it even better. Trapping is obviously not something I need. We could always get writing and just get that library set up straight away. Seeing as we don't have any fish or any resources in the sea that we can work, I'd say that sailing is not priority. Uh, maybe had this been an archipelago map, that would have been really good, but it's not, so... We don't really need it straight away. I am actually leaning towards uh, writing. I would actually love to get the National College as early as possible, pretty much. See, since we're playing on deity, I want to definitely put more thought into my decisions than I normally probably would. I mean, at this point, normally I'd probably go with mining, but I feel like we don't need mining. We're not going to make mines. We're not going to chop down forests. Uh, getting mining at this point would only be to get to construction. So I'm going to go with writing, actually. I want to get that library going. And I want to get that national college nice and early. Okay, this is a good spot for a for a city as well. Hello. I'm grabbing you. And it's terrible. It's always, when I get my warrior and I grab a ruin, it's always an upgrade to spearman. And when I use it, uh, when I get one with my scout, it's always a map or the locations of barbarian units. Basically something that nobody needs. Although right now we can see more ruins, so I guess that's, that's all right. Alright, growth is looking really good. I'd say after the shrine... Oh wow, okay, that usually never happens to me. 
They're angry about something. All right, got some stone. This this would be a pretty good spot for a second city. And I'm gonna get out of here. I am not messing with you guys. So let's see. We've got this would also be a great spot for a second city, actually. Uh, maybe here. That would be a good spot, actually. That would get us horses, two fish, uh, cocoa, bananas, and a uh, camp with deer. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Let's see. Still some jungle as well. I see some forest. I see actually one forest. The rest is jungle. That's a bit weird. I guess it's just because it's deer in that tile. All right, this is another pretty good location. Let's grab you. All right, 20 culture. That's really nice. So let's uh, straight away just grab tradition. Because why not? And in six turns, we're going to have... Um, what's it called? Oligarchy. All right, so shrine. I don't think there's a Coco Pantheon. That would have been really cool, but I don't think there's one of those. But there's one for culture from jungles. Oh, oh my god, dude, no. Don't, no. Don't do this to me. Look at this amazing start, and this this is what you do to me next. You give me Askia. Of all people, you give me Askia. Well, it could be worse, but... It's markened. It could be worse, but it could also be a whole lot better. In terms of neighbors. Then again, personalities are random. Alright, no contested borders. We might be alright here. And he's already got a second city. That's good for him. I'm super happy for you, buddy. Now, if you could just not kill me, that would be nice. Uh, all right, give me a couple turns. As soon as I get riding, I'm gonna get an embassy with this guy, and hopefully we can uh, we can be friends throughout this game. That would be pretty cool. All right, got a little elephant there. Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. I'm still- I'm just waiting for that, the COVID lands that I currently own, because you know that that's gonna happen. That's how they operate. And I don't know how random their personalities truly are. I mean, for all we know, this guy got, you know, Shaka's personality, or he could have gotten Montezuma's personality. It's not necessarily a good thing that this is happening. All right, at least we're mapping everything, and that is good. And we have... All right, let's get the shrine, and then get... Definitely get a settler. It's going to be nice and early, which I'm not used to, but we're we're grown so quickly. We're going to need a settler, right? Oligarchy. All right, start running around. So, let's see. In about 15 turns, we're either going to get the... All right, so we got to choose now uh, what we want to do. Do we still want to get that monument? Definitely uh, before we get, uh, what is it, legalism? Yeah. Do we want to get this uh, the, the monument before we get legalism, or are we okay with getting a free monument? And honestly, I think I am. I am a little torn right now because we don't have the happiness to support a lot. I think we might actually have to go for a worker here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this worker, get some luxuries, and then make our city. Because if I actually um, found a second city right now, that's going to get my happiness in trouble, and I don't want that. So let's get calendar. Because that's going to allow me to actually make plantations on all of these things. That's a good tile. All right, we can hold off on growth a little bit longer. That's all right. Oh my god, dude. Eldorado? And, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. I want that. I want Eldorado. I don't care that it's only five culture. You know, I just want to own that stuff. Oh boy, what's going on here? What is the dealio? Oh, hey, what's up, uh, fellas? Just passing through. Do not, do not look at me. I want that. I want Eldorado. There's lots of hills here as well. 
if we actually want to get that inside of our borders, that's going to be... That's going to be a challenge. I mean, I'll try. Possibly. I'm going to I'm gonna keep it in mind, at least. But, oh, Shoshone? Come on, man. Not you again. Grand Mesa. For those of you not in the know, the last game I played, I was also up against the Shoshone. And it wasn't that much fun. All right, this is actually pretty good. Two production. Bit of, what was it faith or was it gold? It was gold, wasn't it? Tell me what it was. It was gold. All right, it's pretty good though. I would not mind having that in my borders either, but it's so far away uh, that it's probably not going to work. El Dorado's just close enough that I might be able to grab it. It's just if I make a city now, that's going to put us at zero happiness, and then even one growth is going to get us into the negatives, uh, which I would like to avoid. All right, Wittenberg. That's actually pretty nice, that little faith boost there. That's some good stuff. Um, do you like me? Sure. Where are you? Please t Oh, he's really far away. That's a good thing. And we met Brazil. I actually don't mind Brazil. Uh, I don't think they really have been annoying to me in any games in the past, so that we that we might be okay here. All right, let's get an embassy with you as well then. Apparently he's pious. So, oh, Venice, hello. Well, how are you doing? What's up with, what's up with you on this fine day? Okay, we met a bunch of people. So we mostly have to be careful of Brazil. Venice obviously cannot settle next to El Dorado, but it's going to be Brazil uh, that could steal it from me. And I would like to avoid that. But, you know, again, we need the happiness to uh, support a second city. All right, yeah, I'm not very busy, I know. I, I'm, all I really have is food. All right, at least there's not that many barbarians on this map so far. That's pretty good. All right, so we got to keep Venice in mind. They're actually a pretty easy target. Seeing as they can only really make one city at the very start. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Probably I'm not going to go after them very quickly. Uh, especially now that, you know, everybody's met one another. But I will keep in mind that he's there. He's right. He's pretty close to me. He's got a good start as well. A lot of spices, some marble, bananas. That's good. All right, calendar's done. Cusco's grown. Yeah, that's actually pretty good uh, considering our low uh, production. And I am totally okay with slowing down the growth a little bit. So let's grab mining. Time to die. Let's get some experience up in here. All right, we have a lot of pathfinders here. I don't know what those guys are up to, but I'm going to stay out of their way. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I did discover that. Fair enough. All right, there's another city-state. If they are religious, that would be very helpful. How many pantheons are there? Only one? If we could get our Pantheon, if we can get the one that gives us culture for jungles, that would be really, really good. Yeah, so it's Songhai and Brazil have a Pantheon. Why in God's name would you ever go with fishing boats giving... Or what was it? Fishing boats give production. That's what the Songhai have. They have ranged combat strength. I just don't understand that one. All right, so this one actually does make a bit of sense because they do have a lot of fishing boats. And they don't have any jungle, so that does make sense to me. Fair enough, you know. It also appears that they're already making Stonehenge. So are they. Venice is making the Great Library. And so are they. Okay, that's good to know. 
That's some valuable information right here. Antwerp, okay. I will take your gold. Thank you very much. All right, let's just get that worker, please. We are taking way too long. Or maybe I just feel that way. I don't know. All right, some, some more Shoshone City. To Moak. Right there. All right. Oh, Wellington, hello. You are not religious, though, which is... Oh, no, what was that? No! Oh, Venice, why? Why would you betray me like this? Well, that's a bummer, although, let's be honest, there was no way, pretty much, for me to get to that any quicker. I made the shrine at, like, the very possibility of it. I started making a shrine. I even met a religious city-state. Maybe they've met one more than I did. We got so close. I mean, that would have been an amazing pantheon to have. All right, at least we have mining, which isn't even helpful, but we have it, I guess. All right, this looks pretty cool. So let's coast over there. Uh, let's grab... I do kind of want to get archery, but at the same time, I want to get to the... Yeah, let's just get archery. Let's get archery so we can actually get an archer. I don't even have to actually build one. I, all I have to do is buy one. <clears throat> and then we should be okay. I mean, there's always still the, the one that gives me stuff for plantations, which is, I think, culture as well. I mean, it's still pretty good. It's just not as good as the one that gives you culture for jungles, I think. Uh, because sometimes a plantation will get rid of a jungle. What's going on? Still fighting. Come on, guys. Wrap it up. All right, let's see. So, you know what? I'm just going to have him heal. And I'll just have him automatically explore. He can figure things out. You know, we've got a pretty good outline of the continent already. Yeah, definitely rough terrain here. Wellington wants end were bullied. Borders have grown. All right, so granary, library, great library, Stonehenge. I mean, we're not going to get any of those wonders. Uh, we're just going to make our settler. It really is time that we do this. Now, I just want to make sure that we can actually get the plantations going here. Um, if not, oh, come on. Seriously? So we've got the Shoshone, who are super annoying. I mean, maybe they're not this time around. All right, where are you then? Tell me. All right, at least you're far away from me. That does make me pretty happy. Legalism it is, boom. All right, so now we have our monument inside of the city. All right, we need bronze working. Sorry about that archery, but I'm gonna grab bronze working as soon as possible. Oh boy. That's a heal though. Question is, will they go for it? Will they try to murder my guy? Let's not take any risks though. Let's just wait one turn. Alright, Grey Library was made with Pocatello, Pedro made Stonehenge, and we have our very own Pantheon. Culture from Pastures, Wine and Incense. Culture from Plantations is, I think, the best one available. We don't have quarries, we don't have banana. Well, we could get a little bit of extra food from banana and citrus, but that would give us two food. Uh, which basically just isn't worth it. Yep, I am pretty sure we're going to have to go with the oral tradition here. Let's do it. That does mean, however, that we basically have to um, get a temple. Because if we don't, that, that means no religion for us. Because we have no other means of getting uh, faith right now. Now, we can't really wait 200 turns to get 
a religion. That's just not gonna work. All right, you know what? I don't have time for this. Actually, we're gonna have to get a... No, see, we do need probably at least one mine. Uh, just to get some decent production inside of the city, and the rest of it will just be terrace farms. Uh, which I think will allow us to actually maintain some of that production anyway, so we could be okay here. But seeing as the game is actually recommending that I build a mine here, I suspect that there is some resource there that we can't yet see. Because that's usually how it goes for me. The game will, will you know, uh, tell me to make something or propose that I make something. And then eventually I find either iron, I find oil, uh, any of those resources really. It could be uranium for all we know. It's just, I do have a feeling that it's going to be something. Alright, Vilnius. How are you, buddy? Nice to see ya. Alright, everybody, everybody's still cool, I think. Alright, that's good. I mean, that's probably going to change pretty soon. Uh, as soon as I start selling close to somebody, I mean, they're going to they're gonna take issue with that. I am absolutely sure about that. All right, borders have grown. Let's run around. El Dorado is going to be taken very soon. I mean, sadly, I just can't make settlers that quickly. I wish I could, you know, I wish I could make so many cities and still have decent happiness, but that's just not going to work right now. Especially with all this technology that we need to actually get happiness. Uh, but, okay. Almost done. But at least soon we're gonna have happiness. And a good amount of it. Add some culture. Although we definitely do want to make a temple. Uh, pretty soon. Sooner than I normally would. That's all I know. Okay, let's go. Wittenberg would like some incense. Brussels wants culture. And a great artist. Antwerp would like some wine. I mean, I have none of that. And you're probably not going to get it from me either. At least I'm going to uh, get one of these slingers. And hopefully we can, first of all, drive away this archer. And then also get rid of these guys, maybe? That would be really nice. All right, so we got bronze working and that's real good. I'd say probably masonry next just so we can clear marshes and get to construction soon Yeah, let's do that. I mean I like philosophy, but that's gonna take quite a while to actually get and We still need hey, what's up? We still need a library in the capital All right, so we should be able to get cocoa now they are in the jungle I'm not entirely sure if it removes the jungle tile, but either way, we are going to get some cocoa. We're going to get a bit of extra culture from it, which is also good. Oh, you want to fight? Is that what's up? I don't know what your deal is, friend. All right, so we're giving up one food, but we're getting one production, one gold, one culture, and the jungle will be removed, but considering the fact that we want some cocoa, I'd say it's probably worth it. And then also, I think removing jungle is going to give us extra production inside of the city. Uh, and that should be pretty nice. Sure, let's keep fighting. We're winning. That's what I'd like to see. That's what you get, barbarian scum. Uh, let's see... Do I want to take that risk? I'm going to take that risk. As long as this guy doesn't attack me, we should be okay. If he does attack, we're going to be hurt and we're going to have to run. But I want some experience on this bad boy. Seeing as it's our only military unit right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a slinger.
Withdraw before melee. Unit will withdraw when faced with melee attack. Chance of withdrawal decreased against fast enemy units or if there are limited open tiles. I think that's going to be a pretty good upgrade. And if you can actually carry that all the way throughout the game, it could be pretty good later on as well. I mean, I could imagine a Gatling gun running away nice and quickly before they get murdered by the enemy. All right, let's go. Time to take action. Let's see if we can still get home. We have to be quick before these borders close. I mean, these guys are probably going to get the gold. But I could see these guys getting either the lake or... Well, we would actually be okay in that case. But if they get this tile, then we're going to be slightly stuck for a while. Uh, if we could just avoid that, that would be really nice. Uh, yeah, let's go to library. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. Yeah, that's probably good. Alright, that's what we're doing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. I think this is a pretty good start to the game. Um, I hope all of you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like. I only ever ask uh, on the first part of a series. Uh, and from now on out, I'm not going to ask you guys again. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like because that really does help me out. And uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to be back soon with more Civilization V as the Inca.